word, so. I mean, I found this from a guy in Florida who was just wanted to get rid of it because he couldn't bring it back to the store. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to take a chance. You know, I, I rarely ever have bad luck with films. They don't really, everything works and the cases are just great and everything. I am going to get the other three here maybe next month. And, I, you know, I just like the artwork, too. I mean, it's like, this is like in a green package, kind of. Because uh, the reason why I didn't buy the actual box set, like some people have told me to buy, because I don't really care about the special features and, and everything. You know, I do, but I don't. And maybe that's a sin, maybe that's something I shouldn't say when it comes to, to films. I should always love all the special features, but I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 I don't, in certain movies, I don't really care about the special features. I just like the movie itself. I like the quality. I like the sound, you know, the visual, visual, what it looks like, what it sounds like, the story it tells me, uh, and stuff like the Goonies and stuff, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I would like to see the special features, you know, but like in Star Wars and stuff, I mean, you know, I don't know, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal to me, I just would rather just own the films in a separate collection rather than uh, pay $90 for the box set, you know, but if you want to go ahead and pay $90 for the box set, you go right ahead, you know, and God bless you too for it. But I, for one, I'm just going to save some money and get a, a nice set. Like, I think this set, actually, the the, the two individual sets are a lot nicer artwork-wise than, than the actual box set itself. You know, but once again, I probably should have said that. But oh well. Who gives a fuck, yeah? Right? Anyway. And you've seen this one, the Austin Powers Blu-ray, of course. I'm sure you have, because I showed that when I got this. Next one here I'm going to show you is Teen Wolf. Now, I, I was really happy that I got this on Blu-ray, you know, because I wanted to see how much different it was to the DVD. And sound-wise, it's pretty much the same, uh, except it's like a DTS master uh, rather than just mono or whatever. It still is a mono sound, I'm surprised. But what I, what I notice, and I don't know how big of Teen Wolf fans we have out, out there in YouTube land, uh, but one thing I noticed for sure is that the music, and, and, and the DVD of it, the music sounds like it's supposed to. But if you notice, like, if you download, like, to the soundtrack or whatever online or whatever to listen to it, the song quality is, the, the, uh, the songs on here, or if you watch it on satellite dish or on regular TV, they're a lot slower, or they sound different. That's the one thing I noticed for sure, because it's like, that doesn't sound like it's supposed to. It sounds different, like it's they either slowed it down or they sped it up or whatever. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's different, I guess. I like the artwork and I like the fact that it's out on Blu-ray. And I found out the reason why they put it on Blu-ray, not just because it's about time that they do, but they're trying to promote that crappy Teen Wolf uh, uh, remake. That really, <laughs> come on, that's not really what Teen Wolf was supposed to be about. They really take that to the next level and. I mean, the, I'm not saying the guy who uh, who did it uh, uh, didn't did do a good job. It's just like that's not what Teen Wolf, what Teen Wolf re remake is supposed to be about. If they're gonna do it like a remake, they should do it exactly like how they had the movie. You know, exactly how you know have a guy be a you know a nobody and all of a sudden you're somebody or whatever because he's changed into a werewolf. So I won't even watch that Teen Wolf show. I yeah, they have the trailer for that on here, a sneak peek, but I'm not impressed. You know. At least they could have gave respect to Michael J. Fox, at least, but, yeah. Okay, another one I got, Anger Management, it's Blu-ray. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. We're going to go through these a little quicker here. Just got Camp Nowhere. I, the reason why I got this, and I, I found out this was on Blu-ray, because I saw uh, Brendan, he, he had this on, uh, he had a picture, he was holding up a picture of this on one of his Facebook pages, and, uh, I was like, man, I gotta find this. I'm gonna get this too. And it's uh, there's all this stuff from Mill Creek Production, so it's really cheap. And it just came out of Blu-ray not too long ago. And because I, I gave my DVD versions away of this movie, and yeah, I think it'll be nice. It's, I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'm definitely gonna watch it. Uh, you saw the Ernest films, of, of course. I uh, saw Holy Matrimony. Actually, Holy Matrimony was actually uh, not bad. It was, uh, you know, uh, besides the fact that she gets married to a 12-year-old kid, uh, I thought the story was pretty interesting, I, and, the, and the music was good, and it's actually kind of a funny, funny co comedy, holy matrimony.
Oh, I'll be right. All right, where were we? I had a had a phone call. <laughs> Hate when the phone interrupts, right? Damn you, phone call. <laughs> okay, where were we here? Uh, I think I've shown you. I don't think I've shown you this one, but I'm sure you've seen it from other collections. Oh yeah, by the way, I saw that uh, Sean uh, Phillips uh, got that on Blu-ray too, but he gets everything. You know, he gets any movie that he wants. So, uh, actually, uh, uh, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I actually sent Sean a, a, a Blu-ray of a movie that, uh, well, for some reason, and I don't know why, I, I, well, I figured out why, uh, I bought I buy a cheap movie, you know, I'm not going to say what it is until he reveals it, you know, when he does his DVD update or whatever. I sent it to him a couple of days ago, so he should probably get it by the weekend or within next week or whatever. He should get it soon. Uh... Yeah, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I bought a movie that was like a UK release, kind of, and it wasn't the right region. And because of that, it would it would play the audio and stuff, and, and the menus and everything, but it wouldn't play the video. I was like, what the fuck, you know? I mean, because this is something that, uh, a movie that I wanted to see, um, the quality difference on Blu-ray compared to a DVD. I've seen it a thousand times, so it's not that a huge loss, you know, because I, I gave it to him. But I just was like... I was just wondering why it wouldn't work, you know, and I just, then I figured, then I realized, oh, it's not, it's, this is not a region-free player, so, I'm sure, pretty sure, uh, Sean does have a region-free player, and so, hopefully it'll work for him, uh, but, uh, and, and his family, too, this is a movie that they all can appreciate, uh, when it comes to great films or whatever, but I'm not gonna say what, you'll just have to wait and find out whenever Sean gets a movie or whatnot, so, Sean, if you're, if you're watching this video, and, and you're wondering, well, it's it should be on the way. <laughs> uh, okay, another movie that I got. Uh, it's it's kind of a it's actually really really good. I, I'm really happy that it actually uh, finally came out on DVD because I saw this on video once before. Because I got the Married to Children box set, you know, I I, I kind of forget that Ed O'Neill, you know, he also did a lot of acting on the side. A lot of people remember the movie Dutch that he did. Uh, that still should. It's hard to find because they, they want so much for it, but eventually, hopefully, it'll come out on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, let's see. Uh, Disorganized Crime is a movie where he plays, like, a, co a detective, and it, it has, uh, like, Fred Gwynn as well, and Lou Diamond Phillips, who played Richie Valance and, and La Bamba, and uh, a few other characters, or a few other casts of characters. And it's a really funny, literally a funny, a really funny movie, Whole, or Disorganized Crime. It's an oldie, an oldie but a goodie, just like this one. It's not really an oldie, but kind of started to be. RV. Now I was gonna buy this from Pomida. Yes, we do have still have Pomida around this area. Um, if you ever heard of Pomida, but uh, I they wanted ten dollars for this at at uh, Amazon or not Amazon, but Pomida. I was like, you know what? I bet you I can find this real cheap, a lot cheaper at uh, uh, if I go. Uh, uh, to Amazon, and I did, I found this for like, what was it, like $3 or whatever, it's a good quality, you know, obviously, because it's Blu-ray, and it has a lot of cool features and everything, and, yeah, RV, RV, my parents have this on DVD, but I, I wanted it on Blu-ray, I'm sorry, you know, I'm so sorry, and so that's kind of some of the Blu-rays that I got, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I got that I haven't shown yet, I know there's more. Let's see. Dooby 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 doo. Oh yeah, I think I showed you guys the. I'm sure, I showed you this one. Yeah, you've seen this one. Three Stooges Volume Four. Yeah, that's in the last video that I put up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got the uh, Night of the Living Dead. Of course, everybody's a big fan of that. I know who's into horror. Uh, I'm not saying I'm really into horror. A whole lot, but but I do appreciate the genre. I like my cheesy horror. Horror. I like you know my horror has to have a little cheese on it, cheese with it. You know, I'm sorry, that's probably not you know, what real horror is all about, but and, uh, you know whatever you know. So I got Night of the Living Dead, and I got its sequel. I guess is what it's supposed to be. I guess so we'll watch the trailer. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. So all you Dawn of the Dead fans out there, which I know there's a lot of kind of amazing and then I don't know just a bunch of other random stuff that I got too you know like down below. I got the full metal jacket I got killer clowns around space 
Death Sentence, the Friday Night Lights, Date Night, Varsity Blues, and Million Dollar Duck. This was a good one. If you guys like Million Dollar Duck, it's uh, a Disney classic. Uh, with the guy from, uh, who was in Beethoven, who was a uh, uh, bad guy. And Critters and Duke Carey Show for a season. And that's about, I, I know there's more than that, but it's all I can really find right for right now. Which is, we're almost running out of time. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to, to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. There's probably a lot more, too, obviously, but, uh, I can only show you so much because we're running out of time. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, maybe these DVDs and Blu-rays are something that you like to add to your collection. And uh, if you like what you see, you know, give me a, give me some feedback. I like to always hear what you guys are thinking and and what's up. And like I said, Facebook is the best way to get a hold of me if you want to talk uh, live, especially with the live chat feature that they got. And uh, other than that, I'm Frankie Sasson, and we'll see you next time for another great. Frank Sloss Show.